ingress controllers. Hey folks, I am Laszlo from Gimlet and in this video we are going to continue to build our developer platform on Cibo Cloud. And this time around we are going to tackle ingress controllers and SSL certificates at one go. So uh, let's get into it. Cool, so we've been building this production infrastructure for a while now and we've installed Prometheus and Loki and if you remember we've been doing port forwarding all this time so every time I wanted to access Grafana I needed to forward the cluster port down to my laptop and access it on localhost and this goes to uh, stop now uh, because we are going to install the nginx ingress controller and cert manager to get SSL certificates let's start with nginx the configuration is rather simple, uh, although you have to provide uh, the domain name of your company or a subdomain for this environment. Uh, and this is for, for Gimlet Stack because Gimlet Stack will place all the services like Grafana and, and the auth proxy and everything else underneath uh, this domain. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to use production at Gimlet IO as uh, the domain for this one. And as I said, everything goes underneath. So. Grafana, uh, Gim production Gimlet.io will be the place where we can access Grafana. All right, uh, next is Cert Manager. Uh, I enable Cert Manager as well. And um, it needs an email address. And this is for Let's Encrypt because uh, every time you register a new uh, domain for, for uh, SSL certificates, it needs an email address, which uh, Let's Encrypt will use to notify if uh, a certain uh, certificate goes uh, close to expiry. Now with Cert Manager, this is not really an issue because it renews uh, well before uh, a certificate expires, but Let's Encrypt needs an email address, so let's give it to it. So that's my email. Uh, these are the two components that we are enabling right now and I am also enabling this little flag that I'm using Cibo Cloud. Uh, it basically tells Gimlet uh, stack to use those little um, optimizations for Cibo Cloud. Um, sometimes there, there's an annotation that's required for specific cloud providers and Gimlet stack takes care of uh, all this. Um, and we are not going to use the built-in traffic ingress controller from Cebu uh, Marketplace. If you have that one, then you unselect NGINX and you use the, the traffic ingress controller and also provide a host the same way as you did with NGINX. But let's not do that right now. Cool, so I have the configuration. Uh, I'm going to write this config now. And uh, as always, this is GitOps. So what it, it happens right now is that Gimlet dashboard writes all the resources into the Git repository, where we, where we keep the infrastructure elements. Let's look at the commit together. So 12 seconds ago, many things were written here. Stack, old, it's just some uh, housekeeping for Gimlet stack. Uh, we install Cert Manager. This is uh, basically the Helm release. Uh, and we also install the Helm repository. And for Grafana, actually, so because now we have an ingress controller, Grafana automatically gets an ingress entry. And as I promised you, Grafana subdomain goes under the, the domain that I've provided. So it's Grafana Production Gimlet IO. We also install the Nginx ingress controller with some basic uh, configuration and uh, also the Helm repository for it. This is the ML piece for Cert Manager and the cluster issuer. Basically, this is the, the config where we provide uh, stuff for Let's Encrypt. Uh, we also have a new dashboard for Nginx. It's a huge YAML file, so I will not load the diff here. And again, some housekeeping. As I told you in the last video, uh, Gimlet stack uh, keeps its configuration in a stack.yaml file in the root of your repository. It's a very straightforward YAML uh, file. And actually you can edit it by hand. Uh, plus, uh, if you are not a huge fan of dashboards, there is a CLI command called Gimlet stack, which uh, 
you can use to update this file or, or to, to modify components. So cool, um, this commit was made. So what you expect is that it all goes down to the cluster text, thanks to Flux, um, our uh, Git uh, controller, GitOps controller. So let's take a look. Uh, I am on my production cluster uh, on Sybil Cloud and I am jumping into the infrastructure namespace and as you can see pods are running uh, ingress nginx cert manager um, also there is this cm acme http solver uh, this is uh, just a temporary pod cert manager is trying to resolve uh, the, the domain name one last thing is that uh, it also placed uh, a kubernetes service into this namespace for the ingress controller and its type load balancer. Now this is important because this is the place where we, we connect the external physical networks of, of the internet together uh, with our cluster networking. So this service is accessible internally on this IP and externally as well on this public IP address. So uh, basically to reach our uh, ingress controller, we need to place this IP address into our uh, domain name server, our DNS, and uh, the ingresses that are in the cluster start to work. Just a little side note on ingresses and ingress controllers, if you are not familiar uh, with, the dis the, with the difference between them. you gonna keep create ingress entries in, as YAML pieces in your cl cluster which basically connects two things it's co it connects an external uh, domain name with an internal service so this one connects uh, this domain name uh, with service that is not visible on this view so how about I get the ingress uh, Grafana as YAML. It's it's a bit better here. Basically, uh, this host name is connected with a service inside the cluster, which is called Grafana, and port 80 is going to be mapped onto this host entry. Now, this ingress alone doesn't do anything because it's just uh, an entry in a database. Nobody um, routes traffic anywhere. The key is that you have the ingress uh, controller running and this ingress controller is keep listening on the ingress entries in your cluster and every time there is a new ingress entry it updates its, its own configuration and basically it knows that if, if it sees this uh, hostname like Grafana Production Gimlet.io it knows which pod to direct traffic to. So the ingress controller is a very important component here. And for network routing to work, uh, we needed a service of type load balancer to go through the cluster network and external external network barrier. Uh, all right, uh, just one final note. This load balancer is a civil cloud load balancer, so you have to pay real money for it. I am not exactly sure about the pricing, but load balancers are usually pricey. So uh, let's not uh, fill your cluster with load balancers, have one or two and back it with an ingress controller so you can route traffic based on host names through the same load balancer on this IP address. So next is putting this IP address into your domain name provider. I am using Cloudflare um, for most things DNS and uh, I'm going to add a record uh, an A record to this IP address and as you remember I am mapping everything to production Gimlet IO uh, and I am adding a wildcard entry underneath so everything under production Gimlet IO goes to this IP address and I'm not using Cloudflare's proxying, caching, and uh, CDNing features and so on. Um, once I hit save here, uh, this entry is propagated to the internet. 
and I'm gonna watch for two things. One is I am watching the ingress entries and the other one is I am looking up the Grafana uh, domain name and actually it reached me already so Grafana production gimnatio is already pointing to this address but this is just for me and by the way uh, the Cloudflare DNS server and the Google DNS server as well however it has not reached yet uh, let's encrypt because what's happening here is as you can see there are two ingresses uh, defined for the same address it's cert manager that is trying to prove that uh, this domain name belongs to us it's trying to prove to let's encrypt that yes uh, this domain belongs to to basically Laszlo and please give us an SSL certificate. Once uh, DNS is propagated and this proof is established, this ingress entry goes away. It is still not propagated yet because uh, it has not resolved uh, the entry. So let's keep wait a little more and soon we will have an SSL certificate. So it is not happening really and sometimes I ha have to restart the process. Uh, maybe it's in a, in a back of loop uh, of uh, some long back of loop. And the way I usually retrigger the certificate provisioning process is that I delete uh, the secret where the SSL certificate will be stored and this triggers Cert Manager to recreate uh, this CM pod and the ingress entry. So how about I get the secrets and I delete secret uh, TLS Grafana. As you can see, it was recreated immediately. Uh, and I'm also looking at the pods. CM pod was also recreated and the ingress was also recreated. So uh, I hope this time we will be faster. So uh, let's just wait. Here we go. Uh, the CM pod is already terminating. Uh, if I'm looking at the ingress, the spare or duplicated ingress is also gone. So at this point, I am certain that we have an SSS certificate for Grafana Production Grimnatio, uh, which we do. And as you can see, uh, my Grafana responds on this address. It's, it's also valid HTTPS. So we are good to go. Um, so as a recap, what we did today is that we have enabled the NGNX uh, ingress controller component and cert manager. And we also uh, told Gimlet that this is a Civo cloud deployment. Um, so if you're gonna keep create ingress entries in your cluster and you provide uh, the SSI configuration for it, uh, then uh, your ingresses uh, will be uh, served in the cluster under the production Gimlet.io domain with SSL enabled. And just one last thing, uh, I told you that it provisioned the real load balancer at Civo Cloud. And as you can see, uh, production infrastructure ingress ingress controller with the IP you have seen is there. So yes, uh, we are going to pay for this, but we are also accessible on, on the internet. So I think this is a wrap and uh, thank you for watching.